What's up, YouTube.com? It's your boy, Ojama Garrett, and it's no secret that mental health is in a sharp decline, and at least that seems to be the attitude I have noticed. So with that being said, I want to talk about the benefits of not being a jerk to yourself and then how we can dig ourselves out of that hole. So without further ado, I don't want to waste any more of your time. Let's just shrink myself and just let's just talk about it. So I got a lot of words written here, but uh, title being, I'm just going to follow along my uh, storyboard here and uh, the benefits of not being a jerk to yourself. So it seems kind of self-explanatory to me, but I've come to find that the most simple things have the most profound meaning. Uh, so nothing is ever as simple as it seems. So let's just define jerk. So I looked up the dictionary definition. It didn't really seem to work very well for what we're talking about when people talk about jerk. And uh, essentially, what is jerk behavior seem to define what a jerk is. Uh, a jerk is mostly by their behavior, and they are essentially people who demean and disrespect you. They might steal credit for your success, successes, blame you for their failures, invade your privacy, or break their promises, or badmouth you, scream at you, and belittle you. Essentially, they are people who are just being an outwardly negative person. Um, someone who acts in a way which violates other people's boundaries, accidental or not. Now, I just wanted, I took a note here so I didn't forget about this. Um, I want to note that jerks are people too, and dehumanizing them is not going to help anything. Uh, but that does not mean we are going to endorse their behavior. A jerk is still a jerk. You got to call it for what it is, you know what I'm saying? And jerks need to accept the fact that they are jerks and take accountability for the way they're acting. So, then, being a jerk to yourself would mean acting in the same behavior that you would otherwise deem unacceptable if someone else treated you that way. That would be a simple definition of being a jerk to yourself. So the benefits seem to be the same for yourself as if you got a jerk to stop being a jerk to you. Sorry, <laughs> kind of a tongue twister for me. Uh, peace, positivity, growth, opportunity to grow, community, more energy, more headspace to be productive, more resilience for other negative, you know what I mean? Like if you stop being a jerk to yourself, it'll, it'll equip you better to um, handle other negative pressures that are being pressed on you, like a crappy job, crappy, you know, situation, etc., etc., etc. It can act as an antidepressant and anti-anxiety, and it can boost your mental health up through the roof. Okay, so I think it's very important that we uh, outline this, just so we have a reason to go into the next part, which is I'm going to try to give you a crack at helping defeat self-jerk talk uh, attitudes. Um, so I. We needed to front load the uh, the reward, you know what I mean? The value exchange here. So I'm going to give a crack at helping you defeat being a jerk to yourself, hopefully. All right. I'm um, just a layman, but I have I have personal experience of dealing with a lot of negative thought and I've worked through a lot of it and I, I feel like I'm a pretty happy guy now. So a little experience there. You just have to take my word for it a little bit. But some thoughts. Uh, I think personally, a reason being a jerk to yourself happens at least in my experience, is that you treat others that way. And how you treat others is how you're going to treat yourself. Um, because it'll become acceptable to treat yourself that way because you treat others that way. And then you're kind of basing, you know what I mean? If you if you police somebody else, uh, you're less likely to do that same thing yourself because you are establishing a boundary with somebody else. So then it also establishes that boundary with yourself, at least more so, because you want to avoid being a hypocrite. At the bottom line, you want to avoid looking like a hypocrite because that would uh, um, damage your reputation or social status and other reasons. That's just one of them. From the bottom line, that's what I feel like. At the very least, you, you don't want to appear as a hypocrite because it'll damage your status, and that's a very motivating uh, motive, like um, attribute for um, your standard citizen. Anyway. But... Yes, how you judge others is how you're going to judge yourself. If you give mercy, you will also give mercy to yourself. So like how like the it's it's part of a principle of like Christianity that I believe in and stuff like that, but this is also it's real in real life. It's good in it, I learned it from Christianity, but it also doesn't need Christianity to exist. But how you give to others is what you're going to give to yourself. So if you're like if you've met people who like hoard things and stuff like that, they seem very bitter. Um, and a lot of that I feel is because they refuse to give so they refuse to give to themselves too because if you if you you know to avoid looking like a hypocrite if you're not giving to people why would you give to yourself you know how like cheap people who are like cheap with everything um, no offense to anybody who does this i'm not like making any judgments here like about character or anything like that or whatever but you, they they tend to um not want to give themselves anything because they're worried about money 
okay so it's it's, it's kind of the same uh, mechanisms going on here and then why i think this is per particularly interesting why i now whatever uh is because this plays on also like if you wanted some science some science around it i think this uh, also ties into a uh really interesting thing in our brain called mirror neurons. Uh, I'm not necessarily sure. I don't know too much about them, but like when I heard about neur mirror neurons, it kind of fundamentally changed the way I see everything and it changed the way I act because I'm... Anyway, yeah, let's just get into the uh, mirror neurons. So mirror neurons are a class of neurons. I included the link right here if you want to look it up. If you just Google mirror neurons, this paper will pop up. I don't care about like the whole paper, but this is the introduction. The first sentence jumped out at me. Mirror neurons are a class of neuron that modulate their activity both when an individual executes a specific motor act and when they observe the same or similar act performed by another individual. Uh, this is... Uh, Great interest in mirror neurons and much speculation about their possible uh, functional role within a particular focus or proposed role in social cognition. So just keep that so keep that in mind. A bit like in my experience, I feel like mirror, mirror neurons um, do act in the way that is uh, portrayed here in this intro. But it is I am like there is like a, a conversation to be had by the scientific community uh, about them. But anyway, I I perceive them to work this way, or uh, you know what I mean, like as an ab abstract idea. This does seem to be true, uh, at least in my experience. So like when you see somebody be mean to somebody else, it makes you feel uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Like the, you know the, the vibe, the energy in a room. Like there's a lot of little things that go on that like kind of indicate that this is the way that our brains work. So like because of that. Um, if you're a jerk to other people, I feel like you're gonna be a jerk to yourself more. Okay, you know what I mean? Like that's the main, the the my science-backed argument here. Uh, so moving on then, my quick guide on how now that we know like what a jerk is and like um, what's causing it, the solution to it is to um, follow my quick guide here. So then my quick guide, how to not to be a jerk to yourself, would be to first reflect and introspectively determine if you are being a jerk to others in the same way you are to yourself um, and if you are just try to stop you know what I mean like if you look at your like a lot of issues people have with the reflection I feel and I do this myself sometimes but I'm trying to work on it myself and the only positive um, results I've gotten from reflection but what's so scary about it is that like when you start to look at yourself all you notice is like this big mountain of things that are wrong with you and that's okay like just that is okay you know what I mean all of us have problems but like the trick is you just start small um, and I recommend like I'll just read it I just recommend doing only one thing at a time and then I'd only focus on that one thing daily and not move on to another thing until you bank up some of those easy early easy wins to build momentum like for instance you know what I mean like if you um, talk crap about people um, just <laughs> one time don't I don't know like I feel like there's a lot of easy ways to implement this like if you're if you're uh, make it like one thing for me I uh, I get a, I had a, I'm a hothead so the thing I do is like when I start to feel like come on I try to just stop and count to 10, even if it's 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, like, like stupid, but at least I make the, the small attempt, get the early win, because then if I get the early win, it's easier for me to do the other uh, deep breathing techniques that actually bring me back to zero, like bring me back to one. If I fly off the handle, get to a nine. Um, if, you know what I mean? Like there's a multitude of examples of this, that it starts with small, easy wins. Do the easiest thing you can think of. Look up the easy, if you can't think of anything, look up the, the smallest one thing that you can do to start moving the needle the other direction and it's all to start building momentum momentum and if that stuff doesn't work if it doesn't work uh get in touch with a medical professional i'm sure they are equipped with a multitude of different things and cognitive behaviors therapies and medications and stuff like that that'll actually like help a lot if uh videos like this don't help i just know from the keyword searches that people are looking this up so i just wanted to throw my hat in the ring and try to like um contribute to uh giving people a chance before they they feel like they need to go that route but like you know if, if take anything away from here is that like if you keep trying things and you don't see any like tangible progress in your mental health or your your state of being go contact a professional um they they got something for you you know what i mean like whether it be uh a doctor you can't afford that maybe like call like a hotline or something like that i mean there's 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 help out there you just got to go look for it um 
so yeah that being said i hope this helps somebody uh, i know this is a little bit longer but and i'm jam jumbling a little bit but i just i just i want my daily content to mean something so i'm just gonna keep trying if you liked it like it if you don't like it don't like it and um i would like some feedback down below about maybe questions or something that you'd like me to talk about or something personal that you might be having issues with i may not personally know but i i, I do take issues seriously and i would try to like research something and get you some like uh, my thoughts on the best way to handle certain things so with that being said i hope you have a really nice day and i'll talk to you later Thank you.